Anyways, so speaking of the woman, you mentioned a woman's tourney. First, first match is announced. Yeah. Now, you guys chime in, in the chat, Tiff. I want to know your opinion. Um, first match announced is Serena Deeb versus Riho. Uh, returning Riho to AEW. Should that have been kept a surprise? I feel like l- uh, watching last night when they when they put the first match screen up, they just kind of announced it. And it was quick, five seconds. They talked. They said Serena Deeb is going to take on Riho. And then they moved out to something else. I'm like... Uh, okay, so Riho is back? Like, what, what, what? Like, why is she back? How is she back? No explanation, just, nope, Serena Deeb is going to face Riho, that's it. Well, I told you, she she moved to the States. But I'm saying, the TV, they didn't say anything about it. They just, they mentioned the match for like five seconds and that was it. I was like, that's how they treat the women's division. <laughs> but I'm like, it's Riho. Like, she was the first women's champion, right? Yeah, I guess so, she's like, a, in a respect a huge... level that it deserved, like, maybe a little bit more. That should have kept a surprise. I should have that match should not have been announced. They should have announced another match. Okay, like, that would have that would have been interesting, right? Like, uh, you know, we have like next week, and and uh, Deeb is is just standing in the ring, and like, okay, who Rio's who, music starts? Who am, I face, who am I facing? And then her, Rio's music hits, and yeah, so yeah, it would be a cool like surprise. But I think a lot of people have been waiting for her to like return back. I mean, we've been talking about it for a while. Yeah, people are still gonna but tune I, in. I like, I like, but. I agree with you. Like, I do like the idea of like a surprise. Like, those are always the best. Like, oh, okay, she's back. Yeah, and they're gonna have crowd for this. Like, people, it's a live beach break is live, so there's people gonna be in the ring in the arena. They get to that that certain capacity limit where it still sounds loud. You still get that pop. People would have popped crazy for Riho's music. Yeah, I just I'm sitting there going like, why? And they, they literally mention it for five seconds and move on. Yeah, Bill's in chat. He goes, I think it's a way to get people excited. He goes, I think we're going to get a whole road to the Eliminator. So You don't, you don't it, think people would have been excited if they put the graphic up of Serena D versus mystery opponent? You know what I mean? Like a black silhouette with a question mark going, who is she going to face? Or if they just had like a single person, like just Serena Deeb on the screen, like Serena Deeb will be in the first match of the AW World Tournament, the AW yeah. Women's World Tournament. Well, Brad says in the chat, people will tune in for this. Uh well, Metal in chat says, wouldn't. I don't see how they're going to book that. You can't have the NWA champ lose, but Rio is coming back. And then Cooper said, here's a question. Are you going to bring women from stardom or TPG, uh, TJPW or maybe Coco Pro? Like, I, I, I said this even last week. I would love people from stardom to come over because just how women's wrestling is over there, it's so different. But who knows how, you know, it is to fly people over to the States now. Like, so. We'll have to see. I don't know. But um, if Rio came over, you never know, right? So. I Well, I mean, even like Ray said, it would have been expected. You know, people would have expected it to be Rio. I, I mean, I agree because we've been talking about it for weeks. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Like, I, you know, maybe I wouldn't have been as surprised. Like, it would have been expected. I don't think it's a big, big We're not surprise. even announced Serena. Just have you know the graphic just said it starts next week that's it you know what i mean ah because they have already like other stuff planned for next week with beach break i just i felt they kind of they kind of just ruined the return for riho riho is a big person this is not just like a bottom of the list women's wrestler in your division this is like one of your best wrestlers you have on hand why is she not getting the big surprise pop factor we got like bored of that too after a while with her being the champ after a while, you and me were saying, if we go back to old episodes, that we're like, okay, like, we're ready for a new champ. Yeah. What's that got to do with her return? Because <laughs> you keep saying she's, like, this big thing. But she is. So, we are tired of her being a champ, but she is one of the top wrestlers, the top stars in the division. We need uh, we need better women matches. That's all I'm going to say. But you're not, are you agree, like, are you yes or no? Like, she is a, she is a big star in the division. In the division we have right now, she's one of your biggest stars. Aside from Hikaru Shida, she's your biggest star. Well, you're making Brit into this big star too now. Good character and talking, wrestling, not, well, not there yet. Yeah. Not there yet. But again, you got Ada J, who's getting pretty good. You got your girl, Tate. Like, uh, anyway. But they weren't I, around last I, year. Like, I, 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 Anyway, let's 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 move on, okay? Like we're spending way too much time on Anyways, this. <laughs> that's why we're here. We let's talk about the main event. Yeah, they had the.